welcome to this channel about comics that I haven't quite named yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that whole thing where I intro myself every time. I, it feels tiresome to me, but maybe it's one of those perfunctory YouTube things. Whatever. Bear with me. This is all very much a learning process. I'm finally getting a camera in a couple days, so, you know, moving on up. Uh, <clears throat> it's a holiday. Uh, this is going to be out on Thanksgiving. Uh, I've been away from the house because uh, I was evacuated. Uh, I live in Australia, and we have uh, fires here. And this one was pretty close, uh, an abundance of caution, et cetera, et cetera. So... I uh, I wanted to have material out prior to Thanksgiving. I know people are kind of stuck at home and and uh, there's only so much of your relatives that anybody can stand. So uh, it's actually kind of a good day for videos. But uh, I wanted to go light. I was going to talk about the the craft problem uh, of variant covers and I. We'll get to that. It's a storytelling uh, hassle, and I think we're doing our readers a disservice. But more on that later. It, it, here's the here's the uh, thing that I'm going to talk about today because I, I it's you know I give you red meat for the holidays. Um, a big topic for a few years and maybe less so now is the idea of politics in comics. This was all consuming for some people for some reason. It was really important to them that there was no politics in comics, and then th there was other people who was the most important thing in the world to prove that there was. And um, I've said this on other platforms, so forgive me if uh, this is broken record stuff. Feel free to skip this video. Uh, I'm going to make clear my position, which is we can argue all day on whether there should or should not be politics in comics. Ultimately, I think it's a matter of preference. I don't even know if it's worth arguing. But what I think is beyond argument is the fact that there just isn't. <laughs> we, can, we can sit around uh, talking about our homes on Mars uh, because it's not happening. Uh, we can talk about getting drafted for the Yankees because it's, very, it's just not happening. Uh, same thing here. There are no politics in comics. If you care to change that, I wish you luck. But uh, here's what I mean. There's slogans in comics. There's platitudes in comics. Uh, there's the parodying of uh, the broad stroke ideas, maybe, maybe. But politics real politics, anything worthwhile, r requires more than platform, which you might get in comics. You might get something akin to platform, but you're never going to get like, policy from comics. A, because it's quite boring, right? Policy uh, for, at the risk of uh, getting too deep here, policy is uh, typically the weight of of capital versus uh, human life or or, or happiness. Uh, the example I always use is bike lanes uh, or speed limits. Go over a certain speed, uh, more people die. Uh, but people got to get to work on time, and people enjoy a shorter commute. So you do a little equation. You look at, look at the actuary tables, and that is policy. How are you going to represent that in comics? <laughs> not to, I'm not being pedantic. I, I, I'm asking a sincere question. It's, it's boring. It's uh, granular and, and nuts and bolts and, and uh, man behind the curtain in a not exciting way. Uh, so in some respects, it's, it's kind of not worth doing. But let's say that you – let's say that it's still important to you to try. Okay. Okay. Um, you better work in creator-owned comics because one thing I promise you is that there are no politics in corporate comics. You have people who pretend that, th that there is. 
You have people that desperately want to believe there is. Well, let me rephrase. Politics can appear in corporate comics, but they're not radical. They're not transgressive. They're pretty much just the rephrasing of the, whatever the dominant paradigm is uh, it, it, uh, socially or, or culturally. For example, let's say that you write, I don't know, something hot right now. Um, uh, you write something uh, that you believe uh, speaks to the heart of the uh, trans experience in America, uh, and you believe that while it's a personal story and, and uh, character-driven, that the nature of of transness in 2023 is political by by its very existence, political matter. Okay, a lot of people feel that way. Here's the counter argument. <clears throat> a multi-billion dollar company is allowing you to put it in its product with virtually no checks. I'm sorry, if you if you think <laughs> if you think that the Walt Disney Company or who even who AT and T owns uh, Warner is that right? If you think that these companies are going to allow you to, for lack of a better word, poison uh, their pablum, you're never going to slip one by the eye of Disney. You're never going to fool a, a, a multinational telecom company. Uh, the budgets of these corporations is uh, are higher than uh, some nations' GDP. It's they don't get there by allowing respectfully cog worker of the of you know hive two two four seven six to go off script and to defy the, the whatever the programming is it's okay to offend certain people it's not okay to offend other people uh, I'm not making a political statement by saying that it's just because either they believe that they'll always have your money or they never had your money and they don't care and they don't consider you a potential consumer. It's simply to say, how could anything be transgressive? How could anything uh, challenge? How could anything push at the push the envelope or push uh, from the margins when the oversight is a billion dollar cheese curd factory that will not risk offense. So whatever politics you slip in here, you're not actually slipping by anybody. You didn't pull one over. You, you just provided content. I don't mean to be dismissive of your work, which might be totally great. And I don't mean to be dismissive of uh, your intention, which is to write about something that you care about, presumably. Don't delude yourself into thinking that y you are somehow the outsider rebel. If your politics have appeared in the pages of, then you're within the window. You're, you're the Overton window's here, you're here, or you're here. You're not even pushing against it because the the edges of the Overton window aren't even allowed in corporate product, which is what you make. I'm sorry for uh, anybody who, who wants to have an argument about whether politics belong in comics or not. I don't care because they're not going to appear there. It's a hypothetical. It's dorm room talk. Just as you're never going to see a Star Wars film that makes you overthrow the government, 
you're never going to read a corporate comic that changes your perspective in any meaningful way. It's, I won't say it's not their purpose because I guess, I guess reality decides what the purpose is, but I'm just, it's, it's currently not possible. That's it. There is nothing more to argue about politics and comics. It is an imaginary premise. That's it. Happy Thanksgiving. Or if or Indigenous Peoples Day. Or, you know, peanut butter and jelly with your dog day. Whatever. Have a good one.